It seems every quarter, Tesla is smashing records for production car deliveries. In quarter one of 2021, Tesla delivered a total of 185,000 cars, the majority being Model 3s. The company has established itself as an industry leader in the EV space due to its innovation in not only superior car technology, but also its efficient production line. Pierre Faragu of New Street Research, far and away Tesla's most bullish analyst on Wall Street, said that the sedan is biblical in its simplicity. The Model 3 is assembled from an empty body to a fully functional car in a bit more than 40 steps and 90 minutes on a line about 1,000 feet long. Its simplicity is unbelievable, and it goes to show that less is always more. In contrast, a comparable car by any traditional automaker could take anywhere from 130 to 200 steps, easily setting the Model 3 apart. How does Tesla do it? What type of advanced technologies and efficient engineering tools does Tesla have to give them a competitive edge in EV production? Today, we will uncover exactly that and more. Welcome to Tech Archives. Genius Engineering of Gigafactories Elon Musk has called Tesla's Gigafactory, quote, the machine that builds the machine. The $4.5 billion factory located outside of Reno, Nevada, is where Tesla and Panasonic, its principal partner, produce battery packs for Tesla's Model 3 sedan, along with energy storage products and more. This place is described as one of the most technologically advanced factories in the world. Gigafactory isn't just a fancy name, but a description of something that is over 1 million square feet and produces dozens of gigawatt hours of batteries a year. And it's only 30% done. These gigafactories were planned in such a way that operations would be as efficient as possible. No stone was left unturned during the design of the gigafactories. Excess heat from equipment such as compressors and high temperature ovens will be able to not only run equipment efficiently, but to help keep the factory warm in the colder months. The north-south axis of the building was designed to maximize the generation of solar energy. The roof will eventually contain 200,000 solar panels. These will expand across 1.8 million square feet of the factory. The location is a key component of the Gigafactory's ability to use solar energy, as it's located in a desert that gets large amounts of sunlight. Tesla's Gigafactory also has a water cooling system that repels extremely low temperatures. Lauren Cito, a Tesla employee, said because of the way the air is here in Nevada, it's dry and really hot during the day, but it's very cool at night. We do have a 10 million gallon water tank out back, and it allows that water to cool down. We use it for air conditioning. A lot of the equipment requires chilled water to operate, to keep it running. Tesla's vice president of operations, Chris Lister, wants to get to a point where this is going to become a fully net zero facility, leaving zero carbon footprint, creating products that also leave zero carbon footprint. Panasonic Integration Although Tesla's Gigafactory is the perfect setup for any sustainable factory, one of the most exciting things about this factory is not the factory itself, but what it's creating. Lithium-ion batteries that power Tesla's vehicles. Panasonic batteries are made in-house. Panasonic and Tesla have partnered in the production process to not only increase the speed at which the vehicles are made, but also maintain product quality. There's on average 4,000 battery cells in every Model 3 vehicle, and a Gigafactory can produce 13 million individual battery cells daily, and that number is growing. This use of horizontal integration helps Tesla stand out from the other vehicle manufacturers that source products from other factories, which can be time-consuming and possibly delay production. A team of 7,000 technicians and smart robots. What makes the Gigafactory unique is that alongside the team of 7,000 technicians, who are working to create the batteries are many robots. Humans are far and few, as the factory is highly automated, with one section of the facility boasting a 90% automated process. The automated robots can move materials between workstations faster and lift heavier loads while staying charged for 19 hours. Some of the robots navigate through the facility using digital maps. Some autonomously guided vehicles use floor magnets and internal GPS systems to navigate the large building. These robots are predictable and reliable, and do most of the heavy lifting during production. The company hired Eric Christensen to manage industrial engineering at the plant. Christensen has over 20 years of experience in manufacturing automation, primarily at chipmaker A&D. And interestingly, CEO Elon Musk often compared the Gigafactory itself to a CPU. Christensen oversees the overall equipment layout and material flow, something robots participate in. 
Robots like these self-navigating autonomous indoor vehicles, or AIVs, by ADAPT. Unlike most other kinds of robots at the plant, these AIVs don't need to be caged or follow floor magnets or navigational beacons. They can navigate the factory freely through the use of a digital map and safely avoid people and obstacles by detecting them with their sensors. They are primarily used for moving materials between workstations. They're also customizable. For the visit last week, they were welcoming people to the factory by saying, Welcome to Tesla. The automaker also uses them at its Fremont factory. They modified one to make it look like R2-D2 from Star Wars. R2-D2 Robot Tesla. This particular model is called an Adept Lynx. It can handle workdays of up to 19 hours by managing power and scheduling itself charging operations. It can handle payloads up to 60 kilograms. Here's a quick video demonstration of the ADAP Lynx moving a rack of battery cells at the Gigafactory. A lot of the robots at the plant are what's commonly known as Automated Guided Vehicles, or AGVs. Those machines use floor magnets or navigational beacons to navigate the production floor. They can be seen moving battery modules and power walls at the Gigafactory. They also have much more heavy-duty versions of these vehicles at the plant. Here's one moving around while playing the theme music to Indiana Jones. The last kind of robot is the heavy-duty robotic arm, something Tesla already makes extensive use of at the Fremont plant. While Tesla appears to primarily use KUKA for those kinds of robots at Fremont, the Gigafactory seems to be equipped with FANUC machines. Here's an M900IB at work. The series can handle a payload up to 700 kilograms, but this one in particular can work up to 360 kilograms. These robots do not have the same constraints as humans and don't need to sleep or eat. They can work around the clock without losing momentum, which has proven to reduce the time in which Tesla can manufacture the cars. When Elon Musk sets out on a project to change the world, he changes the very fabric of what holds to be true. Production cars that would usually take 200 steps for Tesla would only take 40. He and his company continue to revolutionize the EV space, creating more affordable cars for the masses, helping society transition to green energy. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos on Tesla and Elon Musk.